Hello! Today I will be looking at this nondescript box. But it isn't just any box. This box contains a laptop, more specifically an HP Pavilion 15Z EH200 computer. This computer I bought online for about $879 US has the Ryzen 7 5825U processor with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB NVMe drive. It also has the WLED backlit 1080p display, not with the touchscreen because I don't really need that. And it is blue. The box is not blue, but it is blue inside. So one thing to note that I did get the low-end base configuration, at least for the storage and the memory, because I bought third-party parts for it. Because it was a lot cheaper and also it was of better quality. So let's get to opening this, this thing up. So now this is the part of the video where I actually get to open it up and just uh, get to the chase. So uh, I'm just using a screwdriver and it says not to use any sharp objects, but fuck it. If I can do this with one hand holding a camera, that would be well beyond my ability to do so. Ah, this is not working. All right, just uh, open the box because, well, obviously I'm stuck at holding cameras. This right here is the power adapter, which is, holy shit, this is tiny. For a high performance, at least like with a higher end processor, I would expect to have a massive power brick, but they just gave me this tiny little brick, 45 watts, I'm assuming. And this is um, important product information, like we'll ever fucking need that. Um, and then if I take the box out onto the ground and hopefully get this lifted off the... Do this with one hand is also difficult, but I can do it at least in one sitting, at least with one recording. So that's fine with me. Hang on. There we go. Nice. It's actually a lot smaller than I expected. Not only a lot smaller, but it is definitely thinner and smaller than I expected. Also, I did forget... We do have the piece de resistance to the charger, uh, power cable. This box is just a nondescript piece of garbage. And we have the laptop itself. And keep in the box, by the way. Which is right in this little package. This was a configure to order model, by the way. So I specifically configured it to order. I've actually been wanting to do this for a while and then I got my financial aid funds in. Let me my grants for college so I decided to buy this I was going to buy a MacBook Air but decided not to because well, I just don't seem to want to pay that much for a laptop right now alright so this looks absolutely gorgeous I might add and it feels so good like I can like this is way better than I thought it would be this is like envy levels of quality here. The screen is anti-glare. We have a Ryzen 7 5000 series processor with AMD Radeon graphics. And we get to turn the computer on. I'll see if I can find the damn power key, which is right located here. And I won't be using the sock config. There goes the keyboard. And there goes the logo on the screen. And the LED is looking a it's less good than I thought it would, but luckily that's okay, because, I mean, my expectations won't be too high either way. I changed the boot animation. I'm not sure if this is a newer version of Windows 11 or if it's an older one. I'm fairly certain it could be something newer. Though I'm not entirely sure, nor do I really give a damn, because I will be downgrading it to Windows 10 after I do a bit of work to it. It is having a little logo on it though. I feel like it just be one of those times where we're gonna just like get a downgrade fucking Windows because, you know, everything changes, but it's not always for the best considering the fact that, well, some things just don't add up. I love how this is the anti glare screen. I mean, you can still see me, hi, but still, most of the noise in the background, I do apologize. That's my white noise machine because there's shit going on downstairs. Um, and a nice premium feel to the plastics. I should know this is shit of metal, which I like. And, well, that says enough. I will not be doing much further with this current configuration of the laptop because fuck Windows 11. 
All right, so next part will be me upgrading the computer to a new SSD and new RAM. So, you actually have to take these two little rubber feet off of the computer, and then you remove these two screws from this, these two holes, just to get the bottom cover out. I certainly wasn't expecting a large space in the board between this and the processor, but apparently that is the case here. Now it is time for me to upgrade the memory and the storage. Never did the stupid but charming snap cliche ever actually did the trick for me before, but we have 32 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. Now to put this thing back together. So you will need to put this bottom cover back on as shown here. You need to snap it in. Oops, no. Back that it's all set done. Double checking, I think we're set. You will need the screws and you also need to reapply the rubber feet. After painstakingly applying these two feet back on, this one did put up a bit of a fight, but it doesn't look perfect, but I mean, you know, it's not gonna look perfect anyway, because I'll be taking this thing everywhere with me. I've got this laptop back together. And I can go into the BIOS and show something what it's got. Hopefully if it still has a charge left on it, and it seems to have a charge just fine. Assuming you press the F10 key to get into the BIOS. Hang on. Oh, shit, that works. That's a large screen. <laughs> All right, oh shit, okay. Interesting. 32 gigabytes of RAM, a 5825U. I did not expect this BIOS screen, it looks insane. I think they got rid of the born on date though, which is kind of a shame because I like that, but I can understand why because it's kind of unnecessary. Actually, it is necessary. <laughs> I'm not saying that, isn't it? Like, just to see when this computer was first turned on, but I'll remember when it was first turned on, that's for sure. I don't know if it's actually, like, ever gonna have a born on date, but there you go. Seems to be a very nice computer so far. Time is a little behind, though, probably just because of a zoning thing, but that's it. Uh, now it is time to install Windows 10, because 11 sucks ass. So I have used this laptop for probably like an hour or so just to set it up. And I'm still trying to work on that, but so far it is very smooth. I have Windows 10 on here now. Uh, and here's all the other stuff on here. So yeah. I think this is a very nice laptop. It does have a few of its flaws, but overall I'm actually very happy with it.